my mom was having the same issue. So uh, do I just what um, try again on hers? No, now she can just log in with that um, ID and the password which we gave gave out to everyone. Okay, one sec. Okay. Ramavari Antaram Ramo Siddhanam Ramo Ayari Yaram Ramo Uva Jaya Ramo Lumi Sava Savam Tina Buana Mesa Dita Ragavikyanata Shiva Swarupa Shiva Ka Namahutri Yoga Samhari ke. So uh, uh, this is the uh, third lecture of uh, Jain Geography. So we are still looking at the general uh, uh, um, details about the cosmos, and then we'll talk about the Madhya Lok. Uh, so what we discussed was that the Lok, if I just uh, show you the diagram, this, is, uh, this, di this Lok is divided into three parts. There is the Urdhva Lok, which is all the top Lok here is the Urdhva Lok. This line in the middle is the Madhya Lok, and below the Madhya Lok is the Adho Lok. Adho Lok uh, means the lower Lok, and in between there is the Trasnali. The Trasnali, Tras means uh, the two cents, the three cents, the four cents, and the five cents. They are the Tras beings, and they only reside within the Trasnali. So uh, then we look at the measurement. I'll tell you my own words before we actually read the book. So the Trasnali is uh, has uh, it says one Raju here. So the, the width is one Raju, and the uh, the uh, what's this what's this called the the width the width and the length is one Raju. So it's one Raju squared at the top. So you remember this was seven Rajus. This total length here running from the north to the yes. south was seven rajus and in between there is one raju square right in between so that means we leave step three rajus here three rajus from the back so we uh, arrive at an area in the middle which is one raju by one raju squared and the length of the trasnali is 14 rajus so the trasnali uh, runs uh, throughout its right is located right in the center of the log and it runs throughout the whole length of the log. So all the thrust beings uh, are within this thrust nali. So all the uh, heavenly beings, all the thrust, uh, the heavenly beings are uh, reside in thrust nali. Uh, the Trasjeev also reside in the middle here, and also at the bottom, the, the Narkis, the hellish beings, they reside here within the Trasnali only. They cannot be found outside of the Trasnali. Obviously, what we've said is the uh, one sense beings can be found everywhere in the law, everywhere. So they are also within the Trasnali. So, in essence, the one sense to the five sense beings can all be found within the Trasnali, and outside the Trasnali, there is only one sense beings. If I can just ask everyone, please, to turn your videos on so I can uh, see a few faces. A lot of the videos are still off. So please all turn your videos on. Thank you very much. So at least I can see you and then I can ask you questions. So that's where we are. If we just do some reading, and I'll go back to the chart again. Everyone clear about the Trasnali? Yes, everyone clear? Trasnali Haji? Yeah, Naji. Haji is this, Naji is that. Everyone clear about the Trasnali? Yes? Can I have some uh, show of hands? Yes? Very good, very good, very good. Good, good, good. Okay. So if we just do some reading now. So let's just uh, read from the top. I think we're at the top. Um, so yaha lok ke teen bhage we've seen that uh, the lok divided into three the urdhva lok the madhya lok and the other lok aapne trasnali shabd suna hoga ise trasnali bhi kehte hain so you can either say trasnali or trasnadi ya trasnali kya hai jahan tras jeev rehte hain paaye jate hain ve trasnali hai like two cents three cents four cents five cents so human beings are all five cents 
the heavenly beings are all five sensed, the hellish beings are all five sensed, only animals are one sense, two sense, three sense, four sense, and also they are five sense. So that's what trust is. Anand jiv lok me sarvatra rahate hai, parantu trust jiv ata dvi indriya like two sense, three indriya three sense, chatur indriya four sense, asangni or sangni, panji indriya jiv jaha paaye jate hai, usse trust nali kate hai. So two sense is trust, three sense is trust, four sense is trust, and the five sense are divided into two categories. One is those with mind, they are called sangni panchendriya, and those uh, there are those without mind, they are called asangni panchendriya. So who are you? Are you sangni panchendriya or are you asangni panchendriya? Who are you? Are you sangni? Sangni for hands up or asangni for hands down? Are you Sangni or Sangni? Uh, sangni, uh, one answer, Sangni. I can't believe someone is saying a uh, Sangni, one second. Okay, we are all Sangni, obviously. We are Sangni, we are not a Sangni. Okay, so trust you. Sorry, I just put my phone on, I'm going to come out of it. Let's move forward. This is the second paragraph from here. Sthavar, arthat pancho prakar ke ekendriya jiv, arthat So there's five types of ekendriya jiv. So we've seen there's two types of panchendriya jiv, the sangni and the asangni. Does anyone know the five types of ekendriya jiv? Does anyone know for brownies? For star points, does anyone know? Uh, there's five of them. Name me a few. Name me how many you know. Tell me. You can, who wants to speak? So raise your hands up if you want to speak. So there's a hand button somewhere uh, where you can just raise your hand. So if you get into the habit of raising your hand and tell me uh, which G you, okay, I've got hey, is it is it Aaron? Aaron, right? Yes. Yeah, well, so name me a trust. Uh, Name me an Ekendriya Jeev. Um, Agni. Agni Kaik. Agni Kaik. Well done. And another one? Uh, another one? Um, Prithvi. Prithvi Kaik. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Adi. Um, there's Vanaspati Kaik. Yeah. Another one? Anyone else? Uh, are we? Are we? Water and air. Water and air. So water is gel guy, air is vayu guy. So there's one sense beings which are found throughout the Tran Lok. Throughout the Lok is the one sense. So we'll, we'll just uh, see. So if we go to the second paragraph, Atat Pancho Prakarke Ekendriya Jiu, Atat Prathvi Kaik, Jal Kaik, Agni Kaik. Vayu kaik or vanasti kaik jivo ko sthavar kaha jata hai. Just one second, I've got this phone ringing. One second. I'm doing a class in the I can't talk now. I can't talk. So, Prathvi kaik again, jal kaik, agni kaik, vayu kaik, vanaspati kaik jivo ko sthavar kaha jata hai. Ye sabi ekendriya jivo hai. Sthavar. So you can call them Ekendriya Jeev or Sthavar Jeev. So there's two types of souls. So there's in fact six types of souls, okay? Uh, there's Sthavar. Sthavar. So there's Panch, Panch Sthavar and one Trust. So Panch Sthavar, you already mentioned, Prathvi, Jal, Agni, Vayu, Vanaspati. They are the Panch Sthavar guy. And then there is a Trust guy. The Trust guy is two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents. So the five cents is with mind and without mind. So they are the sthavar kai and the trust kai. So ye sabi sabi ekendriya jiv hai sthavar atat sabi ekendriya jiv pure lok mein 343 ghan raju kshetra ne rathe. We've seen that the whole area of the lok is 343 ghan rajus, cubic rajus. So they are found everywhere. Usme thasa thas bare huye hai. Or trust jiv keval trust nali nahi rathe hai. Ab trust nali kaha hai. 
और कैसी है उसे देखते हैं तो वी वो सीन द मेजरमेंट Uh, so again, if you just have a look at the thrust nali, just refresh ourselves. So this thrust nali is the column in between. So it's one raju by one raju by fourteen rajus. That's where the thrust shield reside. So my question is this: It's a very simple question. So uh, who occupies more space in the loka kash, the thrust shield or the ekendriya shield? Who, which type of shield occupies more space in the loka? The ekendriya jiv or the thrust jiv. For ekendriya jiv, raise one one finger. For thrust jiv, two fingers. Thrust jiv, two fingers. What is it? I can't see Adi's fingers. Put one ekendriya jiv. Eken are also the eken. Good. You you are understanding it. Good. Uh, so one one one. So we have one 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 one. So the thrust. So the ekendriya jiv obviously obviously occupies. The most space because they cover the whole of the three forty three Ganarajus. So let let me not read this. I'll, I'll, so I'll go to the uh, next page. We will cover that. Mera prashna hai. So this is what I'm reading. Mera prashna hai. Dev kaha rete? Urdhvalok me, adholok me, madhyalok me. So you, you now have to answer. Let me see how bright you are. So where do the heavenly beings reside? Do they reside in the upper log, the middle log, or the lower log? So Adi, okay, Adi. They reside in Urdhvalok. Where? Urdhvalok. Urdhvalok. Anyone else? Arvi. Anyone else? Anyone else? Arvi. Heaven. Yeah, but where is heaven? In the Urdhvalok, the Madhya log. Or the Patal Lok, Adolok. Um, you have to tell me from the three Urdhva Lok, Madhya Lok, or Adolok. Anyone uh, else? Anyone else? No? Let some, let, let some of the adults try. See if they get this right. See whether they are less clever than you or more clever than you. Okay, so I'm going to pick an adult. We'll talk to Hinaben, 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 because I can see you. You have to answer. Where are the Devgatis Jeev? In the Urdhvalok, the Madhyalok, or the Adholok? Where are they? Trasnali Mariyache. Habi, ito, ito bada ne khabar che Trasnali Mariyache. But Trasnali, Urdhvalok ma pan Trasnali che jo yaya batu. This is Urdhvalok ni Trasnali, a Madhyalok ni Trasnali, a Adholok ni Trasnali che. So where do the Devs reside? Do they reside here? Do they reside here? Where do they reside? Which lok do they reside? That is the question. Upar, Udhyalo. Upar, Upar. But I catch you, Upar. Who is it? Javish. 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 I also think it's Udhvalo. Udhvalo. But I Udhvalo catch you. But I have congratulations for trying. But unfortunately, Udhvalo only is the wrong answer. Answer oh. is the wrong answer. Because the Dev is in three people. In three people. In the middle of the world. In the middle of the world. So they reside in the middle of the world also. And they reside in the lower world also. They reside everywhere. Why? Because we have four types of Devs. Okay? So the Vimanvasi Dev, the Vaimanic Dev, they reside here in the upper world. The uh, Bhavan Vasi Dev, Samvyantar Dev, they reside in the Madhya Lok. And also the uh, Jyotishk Dev, the, the stars, the moon, they only reside in the Madhya Lok. They don't reside anywhere else. And in the lower Lok, Bhavan Vasi Dev and Vyantar Dev reside above the first Narak here. Can you see my cursor? So they reside here just above the first Narak. The Bhavan Masi Dev and the Vyanta Dev. So the Dev Gati Jeev, they reside everywhere. The Urdhva Lok, the Madhya Lok, and the Adho Lok. So I'm happy to say the adults are not as bright as you are. So at least you can uh, thank yourself that you are as bright as the adults. That's very good. Okay, let's move forward. So let's just read what they say. So Dev To Urdhva Lok. Can you see this? Dev To Urdhva Lok. मध्य लोक अधो लोक तीनों ही स्थानों में रहते हैं अधो लोक में भवन वासी व्यंतर रहते हैं सो इन दी लोअर हेल्थ इट जस्ट अब द फर्स्ट हेल्थ 
is the uh, um, the vima uh, the bhavan for the bhavan vasi and the vyantar madhya lok me deep samudro vyantar ke vaase vyantar they live in the madhya lok and jyotishiyo ke viman to madhya lok me hi hai the jyotish dev the sun the stars moon they only reside in the madhya lok they don't reside anywhere else but the vyantar dev the bhavan vasi dev they reside in the lower hell sorry they they reside in the lower lok and in the middle lok and the vaimanik dev they reside in the upper lok so that was a bit of a trick question urdhva lok me to anya vaimanik dev rehte hi hai isliye dev urdhva lok madhya lok aur do lok me rehte hai narki kahan rehte hai that this is a really easy one be surprised if you get this wrong to narki urdhva lok madhya lok aur adho lok me rehte hai who wants to say मेकिंग What's the uh, uh, about the dev? You mean? Yeah. Okay. So, so there's four types of devs. Okay. So the vyanta dev, they live in the middle lok and the lower lok. Okay. The bhavan vasi dev, only a few bhavan vasi dev live in the middle lok, but they predominantly live in the lower lok. Bhavan vasi dev, they have bhavans just above the first hell. So that's bhavan vasi dev. Jyotish Dev only reside in the mid lok and nowhere else, and the Vaimanik Dev reside in the upper lok. So my next question is that clear? Naji, Naji, yes, good, Naji. So where do the Narkis live? In Adho Lok, Aran. Uh, Adolok, huh? They live in Adolok, the lower lok. Uh, Adolok, the lower lok. That's where they reside in the Adolok. Yes. Okay. Dev ho ya nar ki trust nali ke bahar to rahte hi nahi. They only reside within the trust nali and not anywhere else. Tirians kahan rehte hai? तीरियंज पूरे लोक में रहते हैं क्योंकि एक जीव तीरियंज ही है परंतु कोई पूछे कि विकलेंद्रिय कहाँ रहते हैं वॉट इज विकलेंद्रिय जीव विकलेंद्रिय जीव इज विन एक बेन्द्रिय तीन इंद्रिय चतुरेंद्रिय पंचेंद्रिय सो वॉट इज विकलेंद्रिय नो वॉट विकलेंद्रिय मीन्स ये सो नो हाँ जी ना जी नो विकलेंद्रिय No one seems to know. Ah, okay. Oh, Adi. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing. But I think he means oh, what? Jee with Sorry, can you speak again? Um, uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's Jee with multiple indriyas. Yeah, but which indriyas? Which indriyas? Vikal indriya. What vikal means? Vikal means not complete. Not complete. So the complete is five sense. so these are the two sense the three sense and the four sense they are called vikalendriya jeev vikalendriya jeev so we, the one sense beings reside everywhere okay uh, uh and where do the vikalendriya jeev live so let's just read what, where the vikalendriya jeev live so the two sense two sense like earthworms uh, sea shells they all vikalendriya the two sense they vikalendriya three sense like ants they vikalendriya Four sense like butterflies, moths, uh, uh, bees. There are all four sense. These are all called vikalendriya jeev. So where do they reside? Uh, let's read. Um, where we read? Uh, uh, vik- second line. Vikalendri kaha rehte hai? To ve matra karma bhumi me rehte hai. Pure madhya lok me nahi rehte. They only live in very specific places. 
they don't live in the entire Madhya Lok, only in very specific areas within the Madhya Lok. Dhai Deep mein, jaha karma bhoomi hai, vaha vikalendriya rahate hai. So in the, so we'll see shortly when we talk about the middle uh, the middle lok uh, we'll see the first uh, two and a half islands there in the first two and a half islands uh, where there is karma bhumi the vikalendri jeev reside they also reside tata antim swayambhu raman samudra mein aur swayambhu raman deep ke par bhag mein bhi ve jeev rahte so they live in the first two and a half islands right at the center. They also live in the last ocean, the biggest ocean at the end, which is known as the Swayambhu Ramar Samudra. So the Viklendri live there as well. And they also uh, reside in the outermost island, which is known as the Swayambhu Ramar Dweep. So they reside there also. So we'll talk about that when we talk about the Middle Earth. And I'll show you the, the uh, map. Uh, with the various rings or circles, and uh, you will see from there where exactly the Swayambhu Ramar Dweep is and the Swayambhu Ramar Samudra is. So uh, that's where we are. So I'm not just spending too much time on that at the mo moment. And where do the humans reside? The humans also don't reside everywhere in the Middle Earth. Humans don't reside in the lower lock. They don't reside in the upper lock. Humans only reside in the middle lobe, but even so, they don't reside everywhere in the middle lobe. They only reside in the first two and a half islands right at the center. Re you remember, there's countless, there's uncountable islands and oceans in the middle lobe, and the humans only reside in the first inner two and a half islands. So when we talk about the Madhya Lok in detail, We'll concentrate on that a bit more. So if we go further, oops, I can't see too my cursor. Charo gatiyo ki apeksha manushyo ka kshetra hi bahut chota hai. So the next question is this. So there's four types of gatis. There's the uh, humans, there's the hellish beings, there's the heavenly beings, and there is the animals. So uh, who occupies the most space and who occupies the least space? That's what I want to know. So first of all, the first question is, who occupies the most space? Is it the animal kingdom? Is it the heavens? Is it the hellish beings? Or is it the manushya? Okay, there's two fingers up. So, 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 so let's see who to choose. Let's go with RV. RV? Human beings? Human beings, no, no, no. Human beings occupy the least amount of space. Least. They only occupy two and a half islands in the center. Okay, Aaron. Heavenly beings? Huh? Heavenly beings occupy the most space, Dave? No, heavenly beings also don't occupy the most space. So look, we had four. We had choice of humans, heaven, hell, and animal. So uh, human is out and heaven is out. You now left it two, Narak and animal. So which one is it? Now there's a 50-50% chance. You want to take a 50% chance or do you want to call a friend? What do you want to do? Do you want to call a friend? Yeah. Who, who are you going to call? Him? You call a friend, you ask him, you ask him. So there's two choices. Who occupies the most space? Is it is it animal or is it hell? Why why talk to a friend? But take a risk, take a risk. You have fifty percent chance of getting right. Um, you could, who's put the Tyrion? hand up? Huh? Tyrions. 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 Very good. And can you explain to me why it is Tyrions that occupies the most space? What's the answer? Um, is it because they occupy the largest ocean and the um, outermost island? Uh, no, no, that's not really the. Uh, when I get, I can't see uh, who's put their hands. Uh, just says two hands up. But anyway, okay, let me let me just see if you put your hands up again. Okay, I've got RV. I've got RV. RV. Um, because they uh, live in all three log, and they're. Air, water, and 
land also counts as uh, anim. Very good. That, that's a very impressive answer. That's a very good answer because I've said we've said right at the beginning. We've said right at the beginning that animals includes the one sense. So animals include air, fire, water, vegetation, and uh, the one one I've missed out. Whatever it, uh, Agni, uh, Chal, water. Yeah. So five, well, five, the five types of one sense beings reside everywhere throughout the lobe. So they occupy the most space. Okay, you can put your hands down, we'll put the hands up. Unless you have a question. So humans occupy the least space. They only occupy two and a half islands. So that's a very small area when you compare it to the whole cause, uh, to the whole log. So if we just read this paragraph, Manushya Gatti Ki Apeksha, Manushya Ka Kshetra Hi Bahut Shota Hai. So they occupy the least space. Manushya Ke Liye Sab Kuch Limited Hai Alp Hai. So it is very rare to be a human. That's what I'm saying. To, to, to be a human in a, the whole uh, log is extremely rare. It's even rarer than winning the lottery. It's easy to win the lottery, but it's rare to be a human being. So just consider how fortunate you are that you have had the chance to be a human, which is so rare. Manushyo ki sankhya, manushyo, number of manushya, manushya ayu, the, uh, the lifespan of a manushya, unka rene ka sthan, the places where manushya live, Lagatar manushya bhav mele. So to get continuous manushya bhav, these are all extremely difficult. Manushya pade prap ho, ese bhav hona bhi atyant dullav hai. So it's so rare to be a human. So what are you going to do? It's so rare to be a human. So what are you going to do to make it worthwhile? Because you will not get this chance easily again. Okay. So what what are you going to do to make your manushya life worthwhile? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Any questions? Any answers? What are you going to do? Are you going to earn lots of money? Are you going to buy a Ferrari or a Porsche or a new Tesla? A new Tesla? What are you going to do? Or are you going to go to uh, go to space with Elon Musk? Elon Musk, if you pay him, I think it's two hundred fifty thousand pounds, you can go to space with him. You could be a space tourist. Is that what you do with the Manushi Bhav? You want to go to space? You want to go to space? No. What you need to do, what you need to do is achieve Samnik Darshan, Samnik Gyan, Samnik Charitra. Yes. Because to go to space is very easy. You just go to Devlok, the Vimanic Dev. You, you go to space. You don't have to spend 250,000 pounds in your death, in your next life. If you do good deeds, you will automatically become a Vimanic Dev. You will go to space. You don't need to spend 250,000 pounds with him. Yes. So, so I've just told you, so I've just saved you 250,000 pounds. I've just saved you 250,000 pounds. Okay. Enough about Elon Musk. Let's, go. Let's um, read, a, read a bit. We'll just move on to the next uh, section. If I can scroll down. Oops, it seems to be stuck. Let's move this. So now, uh, what this next paragraph is showing is exactly where Siddha Sila is. Now, it's a very simple question. Very simple question. So, where is the Siddha Sila? Is it in the Urdhvalok, the Madhyalok, or the Adhalok? I'd be very surprised if you get this wrong, actually. Yes. So, where is it? Urdhvalok, Madhyalok, or or is it is it uh, the Adolo? Where is the Sid Silla? Where is the Sid Silla? Where the Sid where the Sid Bhagwans live? Where is it? Where is it? Aran. Um, is it Udvalok at the top? Uh, Udvalok at the top. Udvalok at the top. So Sid Bhagwan is where there is extreme happiness. Yes, I'm glad you uh, you didn't say Madhilok. I'm glad you didn't say Madhilok uh, in the Bermuda somewhere, on a beach somewhere. That is not where happiness is, yes? It's where the Siddha Bhagwans reside. That's where, so 
it's right at the top here. Can you just see this crescent at the top here? You can see, if I just make this bigger, you'll be able to see. You can see this crescent, yes? So that's where the Siddhsila is, right at the top of the lok. This is the Siddhsila, where the Anand Siddhbhagwan reside. So obviously it's at the Urdhva lok. Okay, so we've covered that bit. Let's just see what else uh, there is to cover. So then uh, uh, what we talk about is the eight lands. Just talk about the eight lands. So, so, Abham Yaha Chart number one ke atar se, Lok ne jo art prathviya hai, unhe dekhenge. Saat prathviya adho lok me, or ek prathvi urdhva lok me hai. Prathvi kate hi, hamare man me, lokik bogol me, jo gol aata hai, oya data hai. Just, uh, So what, so rather than just reading this, let me just explain to you my own words. So in this whole look, there are, there are eight lands. What is a land? A land is something which go, which stretches from one end to the other. So you will see here the red and the yellow. So this is the first land where we are. So we, we reside on top of the first land here. So there's seven lands at the bottom and one land right at the top. So there's seven lands in total. So there is one here, this is the Madhya Lok. So there's one land here. The second land, this is, the, this is where Narkis reside within those lands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven lands. So the lands stretch from one end right to the other. So they touch all the boundaries of the lok. Can you see? It's stretching throughout the lok. So the first uh, land here, it's one Raju in width and seven Raju in uh, length. So the second land, the width is slightly bigger. The measurements are all written here, so I'm not going to give measurements. So the second land, the width is bigger, but the uh, length is again seven Raju. So uh, the lands that go below, uh, the width becomes bigger and bigger, but the length is seven rajus throughout. You understand? Yes? Haji, Yanaji, Haji? Haji, good. Haji. So, so the seven lands are here, and the last land is right at the top here. This is where the Sitsala is at the uh, bottom. So this land is one raju here, and seven rajus that run from north to south. And uh, another important feature of these lands is the, the thickness of these lands. So the first land is the thickest, then the second land is less thick, then the third land is less thicker, becomes thinner, 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 as you go all the way to the bottom, it becomes thinner, thinner, thinner. Uh, so that's essentially what the next paragraph is trying to tell you. So, so, uh, so the Naraks, we've, we've already seen that the, the Narkis reside within the Thrust Nali. They reside in burrows in these lands, like a mouse resides within. So what does a mouse do? What does a beaver do? They dig burrows and their home is a burrow. Similarly, Narkis, they reside in Beel, what is called Beel, we call it a burrow. So uh, there is a hollow cavity within the earth where the narkis reside. So th that's called a beel. Narki, the, the house of a narki is called a beel. So it's a cavity within the earth. Yes? We'll talk about that when we talk about the narkis. So the first land, well, we should give you the first land. The first land here, is the thickest, it's the thickest, okay? So it's, 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 imagine it's this thick, right at the top, okay? The Bhavan Vasi and the Vyantak Devs reside right at the top and below them reside the uh, Narkis. Narkis reside below the uh, Bhavans of the Vyantar and the Jyotish, sorry, Vyantar and the Bhavan Vasi Dev. So they reside at the top in the thickness. So the Bhavan's houses are also within uh, within uh, right inside the earth, so burrows. But uh, 
the, uh, the houses of devs, we don't call them burrows, we call them bhavan, bhavan. Uh, uh, so uh, the devs reside in bhavans and the narkis reside in Beel. Yes, Anji, Anji? Okay. So the, the land right at the top here, if I just uh, scroll down. So this land here, which stretches which is one Raju by seven Raju, this is called this is called Ishad Praghar. Ishad Praghar. And right in the middle of Ishad Praghar is the Siddhsila. Yes. So that's where we are. Okay, so that's what I wanted to cover. So, so we've now finished talking about the, uh, so, so we finished the general description of the lok. Uh, I'm not gonna cover everything. Then uh, they talk about the different names. So, so, so these lands have different names. The first land in the middle is called Dharma, then Mansha, then Mega, Anjana, Arishta, Magvi, Magvi. So I'll just skip all of that. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about, let's just see what's over there. I'll not talk about the Bhagavad either, and I'll just move uh, straight to what's called Madhya Lok. So if we move to Madhya Lok, I'll just see what stage uh, Madhya Lok is at. Just make the notes. Uh, Madhya Lok starts at page 147. So if I step to 147. So this is Madhya Lok. So this is where we talk about the Madhya Lok, okay? So the Madhya Lok, remember, is this area here. This area, whole of this area is the Madhya Lok. It serves one Raju by seven Rajus, and the height of the Madhya Lok is the same as Sumeru Parvat. We've seen the height also. So let's just see what this book is now saying to us. अब मध्य लोक अथवा तीव्र लोक में चलेंगे अथवा उसकी चर्चा करेंगे। So another name for मध्य लोक is the तीव्र लोक, तीव्र लोक। तीव्र means अदाय, अदाय। So like this, this is called तीव्र। This is उर्ध्वा, उर्ध्वा is horizontal and तीव्र is, sorry, उर्ध्वा is vertical and तीव्र uh, is horizontal. So Madhya Lok is known as Tiryak Lok or the Horizontal Lok. So again, the height, uh, so they mentioned the height of it. So the height is what? The height is, can anyone remember the line, what the height is of the Madhya Lok? Anyone? Yes? No? Chavish? Um, is it one Raju? Huh? Is it one Raju? No. It's the same as Mount Meru, Sudarshan Meru. So right in the first class, I told you the height of Sudarshan Meru. Uh, so that was one lakh and chalice yojan. 100,040 yojans. That is the height of the Madhya Lok. Okay. Um, so if we just start reading from here, Iske Beach or Beach, Ek Raju by Ek Raju, चौड़ाई वाली चोकोर त्रस नाली है जिन जिसमें असंख्यात दीप समुद्र पाए जाते हैं। So what it's saying? So what we are doing is concentrating on this area. Can you see this uh, cursor? So this area here uh, is what we are concentrating on. We are the, so, so the whole Middle Earth is one Raju by seven Rajus, which we are ignoring that. What we are now talking about is the one Raju by one Raju area right at the center here. Can you see the circles here? Can you see the circles? Yes. So that's what we are talking about. So this, these circles is what we will be talking about. So these circles represent the Asankhya, the uncountable islands and the uncountable uh, oceans. So this is uh, Asankhya Dweep Samudra. Dweep means island. Samudra means ocean. It's, it's important to uh, remember these words, dweep and samudra. The dweep means island, samudra means ocean. So if I just uh, go back to this, 
So this this area is one Raju by one Raju. This this area here. Iske bicho bich ek Raju by ek Raju chodai wali jo core plus nali hai, jisme asankhya deep samudra pai jate hai. So the uh, asankhya deep and samudra are within a deep plus nali. Uske bahar to matra bumi hai. Outside, outside the thr thrust nali, there is just land. There is nothing else there except for one sense beings. Only one sense beings reside outside the thrust nali, uh, but we are concentrating on this here, the area in the, in the middle. Ab is ek raju by ek raju chokwar me ek raju vyaswala gol nikalna dekhe chart number teen. Go, so if we just look at chart number three here, so what we are doing, remember, is we're talking about this area here, one Raju by one Raju, which contains uh, in a circular formation, a Sankhyat Weep and a Sankhyat Samudra. So we, if we just expand on this area, this is what it will look like. So I'll just scroll down. Can you see the chart? Here, here, they've only shown a very few islands and oceans, but you have to imagine, because obviously you can't draw uncountable islands and oceans. So this picture represents a Sankhyat Weep, a Sankhyat Samudra in a circular fashion. So we have an island right in the center, okay? So we have an island right in the center. Does anyone know what the name of that island is? Right in, yeah, uh, uh, Aaron? Jambu Dweep. Uh, ve very good. So, so, so as you can see the yellow, can you, everyone see the yellow dot in the center? Yes, the yellow dot in the center. So, yeah, good. So if we expand, so if we zoom in, imagine, imagine you have a, a drone, okay? Imagine you have a drone. So what you are doing, you, you're flying your drone above this, and you're highlighting it. So your drone, what does your drone have? It, it has a magnifying capacity. So you're making that area a lot bigger. So if you make that area a lot bigger and you want to uh, see what Jambu Deep really looks like, then let me show you. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is this is the island of Jambu Deep right in the center, okay? So we've zoomed in on the area, okay? So uh, then this, so this is the, so this yellow dot in the middle is the island of Jambu Deep, okay? Then surrounding the island of Jambu Deep, you'll see this blue circle, yeah? The blue circles, what do they represent? They represent the, yeah, go on, Aaron. Sea. Huh? The sea is the oceans. Yeah, the oceans. Samudra, Samudra. So they represent the Samudra. So uh, we start off with an island at the center, surrounded by an ocean. Uh, the first ocean is called the Lavan Samudra. Lavan means salt. Lavan Samudra. Then the Lavan Samudra is surrounded by another island. And this island is known as Dhatki Dweep. Dhatki Dweep. Then that Dhatki Dweep is surrounded by another ocean. And this ocean is called Kalo Dadi Samudra. Kalo Dadi Samudra. Then surrounding the island, surrounding this ocean is another, can you see? You can see another island here, this whole island. So this whole island is known as Pushkadvi, Pushkadvi. And surrounding the, that island is another ocean called Pushkar Samudra. It's important to remember these names because these names come up quite often, okay? So you have to try and remember these names. So uh, maybe by Friday, maybe by Thursday, you will have remembered it. If you have probably a note to it, uh, let me go through it once again. Um, what's the island in the middle? Anyone? Again? Charish. Jambu Dweep. Jambu Dweep. And what is the first ocean surrounding that? Anyone? Aaron. Um, Lavan Samudra. Lavan Samudra. And what is the island surrounding Lavan Samudra? Anyone? Javish. Dhatki Dweep. Dhatki Khand or Dhatki Dweep? 
Okay. And surrounding that is another ocean. The name is? The name is? Aaron. Um, Kalu. Um, Kalu Dadi Samudra. Kalu Dadi Samudra. And then the next island here is Pushkardvi. Pushkardvi. So let me repeat it again. So we have Jamudip at the center, surrounded by Lavan Samudra, then another island called Dhatki Khan, then Kalodari Samudra, then Pushkardvi. Okay. And uh, then we have another ocean, Pushkarwar Samudra. Then after that, there is another island. Then there is another ocean, uh, then there's another ocean, then another island, then another ocean, then another island, then another ocean. How many are there? How many islands and how many oceans are there? Javish. How many are there? Asankyat. Asankyat. Very good. Asankyat, Samudra, and Asankyat, Dweep. So the last island, the last ocean. So, uh, uh, so we start off with an island in the center. Then we continue island, ocean, island, ocean, island, island, ocean. Okay. So the last, what is the last thing? Is it an island or an ocean? You reckon? You have 50 50 chance. Island or an ocean? Aram. Ocean. Ocean. And the name of that ocean? Does anyone know the name of that ocean? No. Swayambhu Raman Samudra. Again, an important name to remember because this comes up in our scriptures a lot. Swayambhu Raman Samudra. It's the largest ocean that there is. Swayambhu Raman Samudra. Okay. So that's how uh, uh, the islands and the oceans are made up of. Okay. So where do we reside? We reside in the center, two and a half islands only. Okay. So right at the center is the uh, Jambu Dweep. And then we have Dhatki Khan. Okay, so let me ask, so, so another question is this. What is the different, difference in shape between the Jambu Dweep and the Dhatki Khan? Is there any difference or there is no difference in the shape of it? Is there a difference? So what's the difference? What's the difference? Somebody else apart from Javish and Aaron. Anyone else? Uh, I can only see two people. Are we? Um, uh, the bigger no no it's bigger yes but in shape i'm not interested in how big or small they are but in the shape what is the difference in the shape is what i'm trying to get at javish jambu dweep is like a full circle but um um the next one is has like a hole in the middle which is the ocean Yes, very good. So the Jambu Deep, if, if, uh, if I show you Jambu Deep again, so Jambu Deep is like a plate. Okay, it's like a plate. Yeah, it's the shape of a plate. And the next island is like a ring. It's like a donut. Yes. So the, the Dhatki Khand Island is the shape of a donut because it's got islands and it's, it's got an ocean in between and also the island of Jambu Deep in between. So this is the donut shape, Dhatki Khand Deep. But the Lavan Samudra is in the form of a plate. So that's what the difference is. Okay. And uh, if we just go back to the uh, wording. Okay, then it talks about the measurements of... So let me explain to you in my own words what these measurements are, okay? So if I go back... Let me just see what, uh, what chart to show you. If I go back... To this chart here. This shows the Asankhyat, Dweep, and Samudra. Okay. So uh, if we expand on this, so the island of Jambu Dweep, the diameter of the island of Jambu Dweep is 100,000 yojans. Yes. 100,000. Do you know what the, do you know the difference between radius and diameter? Yes. What's the difference between the radius and diameter? Aaron. Um, the radius is like the distance from the edge of the circle to the center, whereas the diameter is um, from one edge to the other side. And it goes very good, middle. very good. So this is the radius, this bit here. Yeah, so this bit here, say, that's the radius. Yeah, and the diameter is this whole, oops, let this come out. 
This whole bit here is the diameter. That's the diameter, okay? So the diameter for jumbled weep, we just go back to the jumbled weep uh, chart. Okay, we'll make that smaller. So the diameter running from here to here is what? It's 100,000 yojans, yes? So what is the radius for jumbled weep? Javish. 50,000 yojans. 50,000, very good, 50,000. Okay, 50,000. So it's very easy maths. So, uh, so uh, the smallest is 100,000. Then the next is an ocean, if you see the ocean, okay? So what happens is, uh, uh, if this is 100,000, the width on each side is double uh, that of the island or the ocean immediately inside it, okay? So if this is 100,000, the next ocean on one side is 200,000 on one side, on the east side, and 200,000 on the west side, okay? You understand? Yes? So 100,000 in the middle, then 200,000 on the east side, and 200,000 on the west side, yes? So uh, it becomes double, double, double. So the island of, so we have first of all Jambudi, then we have Lavan Sabudra, then we have the island of Dhatki Khand. So what is the width on the east side here? How much will this width be? This width here? Aaron. Um, would it be one million? Huh? One million. No, not can't be one million. This is one hundred thousand. Yeah. And this uh, is this um, is two hundred thousand. So how much will this be? Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. So this ocean will be how much again? Jarish. I can't hear you. Unmute. Eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. So eight hundred thousand on this end and eight hundred thousand on this end. Okay. So again, the next uh, will be an island. So that's how much on one side? Adi, right, Adi. So if this is 800,000, what's the, what's the width of the next island? 1,600,000. Or 1. 1.6 million. 1. Yeah. 1.6 million on each side, okay? So these islands, just, just imagine, these islands are becoming no, the width at one end is becoming double, 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 double. So how many times left double, 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 double until you get to Swampur Rama Samudra? You, 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 what you are doing is doubling, 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 doubling every time. Okay. So when you get to the last ocean, which is Swampur Rama Samudra, how many times will you have doubled? How many times will you have doubled? An uncountable amount of times. Uncountable. Just imagine how vast one Raju is. So you're doubling, 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 doubling. So we've said, if you uh, so one hundred thousand yojans, we've we've said one yojan is equal to four thousand miles. So four thousand times one hundred thousand, that's four million, right? So this island of Jambu Deep is four million. So the next ocean is how many millions? The next ocean is how many million at one end? Yes, Javish. Two million on each side. No, huh? I mean, two million on each side. No, 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 no. No, wait, sorry. This is this is four million, right? Oh yeah, so eight. Am I confused? That's four million. It's four four million. This island is four million oh. miles. Oh, uh, then eight eight million. On each so side. this is eight million miles. This is sixteen million miles. This is 32 million miles, Just imagine 32 million miles. So from here to India, it's about 9,000 miles, 9,000 miles. The whole known world is about 12,000 miles, okay? America, Art Antarctica, Arctic, whatever we know, Greenland, America, Europe, that's all within uh, 12,000 square kilometers. But this, these, the, the center island itself is so huge, it's four, uh, 4 million miles, then 8 million miles, then 16 million miles, then 32 million miles, then four, 64 million miles, then 125 million miles, then 250 million miles, then 500 million miles, then 
Then what? What do you get after that? 500 million times two. What is that? A billion. A billion. So one billion miles. No. Then two billion miles. Then four billion miles. Then eight billion miles. Then 16, 32, 64. You continue, continue, continue. How many times? Uncountable times. So these are huge figures, huge figures. Yes? So we've come to the end of our time. So we'll stop there. We'll just recap on this again on Thursday. And I'll tell you how to calculate uh, uh, the, ra the radius at one end. And what, where the, uh, so next session, we'll talk about uh, the total diameter where the humans reside in the first two and a half islands, how that is calculated uh, and uh, how do you calculate the radius of each island or ocean uh, because the Acharyas have given us a formula to make it easier for us to calculate uh, these things. So we'll talk about that on uh, Thursday at three o'clock. Please, can you all try and join on time? You know, uh, because people are joining like five minutes later. To, to, uh, try and join five minutes early. I mean, I, because I aim to start uh, five minutes before, my Zoom is always on five minutes before, so try and join early, okay? So like you're going to school, you would always be on time. If you're, on, uh, if you're late, you get told off, you get detention. So please make sure you're on time next time for Thursday. Okay, so uh, that's where we conclude. Who wants to do the Purnauti? Who wants to do the Purnauti? Anyone? Okay, Aaron. Nija nidi nija me batae yaha anand upakare uske liye jinvani ma ko vandana shatbarahe yavan ke gyan se Suje lokalo so vani mastakanamo sadade ka jinwani mata no jai okay that's it everyone thank you for your cooperation so i'll see you again uh, hopefully early on uh, thursday at 5 minutes to 3 thank you everyone take care jai jinendra jai jinendra